Hey everyone, um, making dinner tonight and uh, pork chops. And I said to myself, how can I make this better? You know, how, how can I upscale this a little bit where it's exciting? So we decided to make some apple chutney and for dessert, um, one of my favorites, apple crisp. And I started thinking to myself, how can I make those different? What can I do here? So I made them a little bit special by um, using some of this Ciroc apple. That's why you can see that it's, um, it's down here already. It uh, cooked off and it did provide outstanding depth of flavor and it was definitely a unique um, dessert. And then I looked at the bottle and I said, gee, you know, I probably should have opened this up and did a tasting video on it before I went ahead and uh, made this part of my, uh, my dinner and dessert routine. But, um, you know, Ciroc, really great vodka. Um, I like just covering up the C here and then it's Ciroc, the Ciroc vodka. Um, comes in all different types of flavors. One of the things that makes Ciroc a little bit unique is not the fact that it's been distilled five times, which is great. That gets all the impurities out and it kind of levels the flavor, makes it very smooth. Um, but it's the fact that it's uh, made from grapes. Most vodkas are, you know, grains, potatoes. This is actually made from grapes. You know what else is made from grapes? Wine. So you can take wine and distill it into, into booze. Uh, really uh, great use of somebody's time. Uh, so this is made in the south of France. It's still done in a copper uh, pot still, which is a very old school way of doing it. Um, so we're just gonna open this up and I'll taste a little bit. I can tell you right off the bat, I've already done this. The, and the apple smell, it's like a Jolly Rancher. It's, uh, this is truly intoxicating as a smell. Um, if you drink enough of it, it'll intoxicate you also. But it's a 70 proof, 35% alcohol. So it's not, a, it's not a barn burner. It's not rubbing alcohol like some of the vodkas that uh, I see people consume. So. Yeah, I mean, this is good. As far as uh, drinking it straight, this is a sipper. Um, maybe you could do shots of it if you really wanted to. Um, you might even want to mix this with Sprite or 7-Up. Uh, summer is coming, lemonade, you know, cranberry, cran apple juice would be awesome. Um, you could probably substitute this into a Moscow Mule, which is um, you know, vodka and ginger beer. That might be um, a very unique way to do it. I, I don't know if it would be too spicy that way, but it's a definitely quality product. If you want, um, you would probably cook with cheaper alcohol. This is just something that I saw. Um, we've done, you know, different types of apple dishes before with uh, a French Calvados, which uh, I, I think means apple. I'm not 100% sure, but it tastes like apple. Uh, I just thought that this would be a nice way to, um, you know, try to change it up a little bit. And, and it worked. I would 110% uh, recommend picking up this Ciroc. This uh, seven it's going to be about 25 bucks, I think, in, in most uh, localities. And, uh, you know, enjoy a little bit. Why not? Change it up.